You sure there's no sharks here? Baby, no. <laughs> I am that kind of person that would get munched by one. This is the part where I make lunch with that and um, stuff. Welcome to making lunch with Miles. I f that's not a series I've done before, is it? No. Baking with Miles, yes. Making lunch with Miles, no. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm making a... By the way, can we just appreciate my current selezione of beautiful watermelons? Some of these are actually um, yellow flesh, which is very exciting for me. Not because they taste any better, but they just look different in photos. So, so welcome to the vlog. This week is going to kind of be like a week in my life, but... Um, I don't know what I'm going to film every day. Sometimes it's going to be food, because um, you know I'm just here kind of like, well me and Jill are both here, just eating our way through Greece, Crete specifically. And what we've noticed is that the produce is just, you know, the produce is just exceptional. Um, so yeah, some days I'm going to show you what I eat, what I make, where we eat out in different restaurants, etc. Um, obviously a lot of ocean and nature footage, so yeah, you know the drill. You know the drill. There's always going to be good food in my vlogs, and there's always going to be me in my vlogs, which means that always... That's like a double whammy right there. Um, yeah, I'm making a typical Buddha bowl. I've got a beautiful white flesh, honey yam, sweet potato, baby. Got some carrots, organic, of course. Some bell peppers. And then I've got a whole bunch of... Like, I'm going to use some kind of grain probably, I've got some beans. Most exciting part, hold on. Guys, would you take a look at this? Pink motherfucking tahini. We can't fully read the ingredients. We do know that there's tahini, as in there's sesame seeds, sugar, and cranberries to make it pink. I'm hoping there's not honey in there. If anyone's Greek and they can translate that, please let me know down below. I also have made pink tahini myself, because I, I made a pink tahini sauce where I blended it with raspberries. Do you guys remember? It is in my ebook. Anyway. I don't understand people that come on vacation or just like move country, especially when it's a hot country, you know? Like, when it's a hot country, all I want personally is like fresh, hydrating produce, you know? Stuff that makes you just feel amazing and vibrant and again key on hydration out here eating lots of fresh fruits veggies very similar to how i eat at home but it's very interesting when you go into like not into like or you're just at the beach and there's cafes and you see everyone on holiday just basically binge eating on burgers and fries and pizza which again there's nothing wrong with eating stuff like that i eat pizza all the time vegan pizza yeah no i say this for two reasons like number one in a hot climate i don't understand people that can eat oily, hot, stodgy food all day long. Like, they must just feel like shit. I don't know, I just feel my best when I'm eating whole, fresh foods. Like I said, you're still gonna catch me eating vegan ice cream, pizza, you know, what did I even have last, you know, Coke, whatever, you know? Definitely not perfect, don't want to be. But I always, no matter where I'm traveling, stay fit and healthy by consuming 90% whole foods and I enjoy every single mouthful because do you know what? It makes me feel amazing as well. It really does. I feel like there's this whole thing of... Mm. You know how it used, you know how everyone's calling out like fat shaming, right? You're not allowed to fat shame these days, which fair enough, no one should shame anyone for being what they are. But it's shifted in the way of like people that want to admit that they want to be in shape. Basically, I blame fucking Abby Sharp because you know like... <laughs> It's so like anyone that wants, admits that they want to be fit and healthy and feels their best on whole fresh produce. It's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, diet culture, orthorexia, and it's like, please. And anyone that disagrees is gonna have to fight me, and this knife is pretty sharp. And yeah, guys, you, you still will never catch me with a green pepper, because like I always say, a green pepper is simply an unripe one. That is actually a fact. Hey, into a hot oven for about 25 minutes. Speaking of fresh, <laughs> guys, I cannot stop buying the fresh orange juice here. Again, I'm not really a juice person. I eat most of my fruit whole, but the fresh orange juice here, oh, absolutely. 
Mmm! Beautiful! Some roquette. Also have some sweet corn and some red kidney beans. I used to hate red kidney beans, but I'm... Of course, we need some beautiful, creamy, trying not to say it, but, oh, avocado. Oh, would you look at that? It's a beautiful one too. I'm telling you these, honey yam fries. You can't taste them and not tell me they taste like vanilla cake. They are just something else. Okay, hot. Raw onion, of course. Alrighty, the grand finale, let's taste this. Ooh, it's a bit thick. I'm not sure if that's pourable. I'm going for a little taste. It's like sweeter than ice cream. Do you know what, guys? Do you know what? Backup plan. I have to admit, most of the tahini here that I've tried is very runny, very respectable. Beautiful. Guys, I thought I could resist, but I am going to give this a drizzle of ketchup. <clears throat> Done. Oh, 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 oh. Baby, no. <laughs> I am that kind of person that would get munched by one. Sharks didn't get me. Close call, babe. Doesn't even need lime. Doesn't even need lime. This is literally, this is <laughs> this is literally like me being in a candy store. Oh, that's a winner. Winner. <laughs> The fact that my ketchup is just like ruining the whole vibe. Love that. Is that focus? It is focused. Just about to make some brunch. Well, kind of breakfast. Late, late breakfast, so I call it brunch. Did have watermelon already this morning, of course. I'll insert a clip here. This morning I did a typical workout for me, which... I say typical workout. My workouts have changed a lot since I've been here. Still going to the gym and like lifting and doing other stuff sometimes, but most of the time doing HIIT workouts just outside. A lot of skipping. In fact, I posted a reel, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, I don't know when I'll post this, but maybe last week, where I was just doing double skips for days. Um, and I asked everyone what their record was for double skips. I think mine is like 400 and, 60, I don't know what I said, it's 400, I think it's 467. Could be wrong, need to fact check that. Gonna make a high protein yogurt bowl, which you know is one of my favorites. I found this incredible yogurt here, which I love, yogurt. It's actually oat milk yogurt, which the ones in the UK I hate, the ones here I love. Anyway, this is what's going in it. Don't know what the ingredients are, because it's not in English, but it's pretty good. Strawberries, blueberries, of course I'm using my favorite salted caramel maca. Vivo Perform Protein, which is just the most delicious thing and nutritious thing in the world. Link down below. Every time I travel as well, I'm always thinking, what flavor do I take? Vanilla, banana cinnamon, all the other ones they have. Every time though, just take salted caramel. It was the same in rehab. Just took salted caramel with me because just can't cope without it. Oh, and this is the best peanut butter, peanut butter in Greece, I've decided. It's the only one I could find with one ingredient and it's extremely, Runny, which you know I'm all about. These pots are pretty small, so I'm gonna use a couple. Might even use three, actually. Scoop, well, almost a full scoop of this beautiful stuff.
Forgot that I have some very ripe, very, very like about to go off ripe banana. I would peel this and freeze it and use it for an ice cream or a smoothie, uh, but we don't have a blender here yet, so. Just remember I have some of this almond chocolate left in the fridge, dark chocolate, which is incredible. I'm gonna crumble it over the top as well. And the glorious grand finale, peanut butter. <laughs> bon appetit guys, get a bit of everything. <laughs> and happily apply to face. Just a word of warning, whenever you use Perform, as in the protein, remember it has turmeric in it, so don't be wearing white, because you probably won't be white at the end of it if you, if you eat anything like me, so. Fresh peppermint on top. Beautiful. There. Next year you'll see me vlogging, I will be living up there. <laughs> that one. Top one. It's a 10 out of 10 juice. Beautiful with the ocean in the background. <laughs> I am literally going home like nine shades darker than when I came here. I feel like they're gonna take one look at my passport and be like, that's not you. Especially because I have my normal like black hair in my passport too. Today we're in the mood for eating, well I was specifically in the mood for eating my own body weight in sushi. Um oh the reason I'm not driving, I do drive here, I drive to like the supermarket gym but if we're going like a long journey i just don't feel comfortable driving on the right um and obviously jill does because in germany they drive on the right so i just felt the need to tell you that i don't know why probably my mm. probably <laughs> definitely my ego <laughs> but now you know and if you don't know now you know and if you don't know that song then you can honestly i don't know why you're following me Hello. <laughs> Question is, can you out eat me in sushi? <laughs> I don't even want to try. <laughs> Please, thank you. Thank you. You <laughs> stop early, baby. Oh, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally just posting a story of us on Instagram. Aww. If you don't follow me on Instagram, they do it now. <laughs> we just had a little cheesy romantic moment outside, so 
Double tap right now. Good amount of salt. <laughs> Table full going on here. There we go. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 sushi. You had to <laughs> order another round. Huh? Can. Another one. Oh. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a random goat, chilling. Guys, the size of this, the size of this. Oh my, okay, which way do I cut it? it? Has to be down the middle, doesn't it? Mm. The thing is, the guy on the side of the road, I think I took some footage. Um, he was the sweetest old guy ever, and we just had to stop. And I mean, we, we let's face it, we would have stopped anyway. It was watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> Absolutely fucking huge. The thing is, I have eaten a whole one this size before. I'm not even joking. Like, in one go without a break. Not even. You know I'm not joking. You all know I'm not joking. <laughs> Guys, this watermelon is so sweet. I don't even want to put lime on it. Um, but we were both saying it had to be a 10 out of 10 because the little guy that um, sold it to us and also gave us a free one as a gift. Um, he was so sweet that the melon had to be this sweet. Right? <laughs> Literally, I actually believe that. 